lot of guys use them though. Well, that's, Jeff got me in on that trooper. And uh, I went away from it because I was always carrying loads on saddles, you know? Packing stuff out and whatever. All right, so this is this, the old mid-elevation trail. You know, a lot of history with this trail. Uh, historically, has a lot of importance. Uh, back in the day, back in the early or late 1800s, there was actually a lot of use back in this country. And over time, this trail kind of became forgotten about. There was homesteaders that were here. There were miners, sheep ranchers, and cattle ranchers. And then with the department, BLM. You know, this whole wildlife management area was used, it's now become more important for sportsmen. And so we're out here trying to revive this old trail in hopes that provide opportunity for sportsmen. And we're in the initial, kind of going back through, making sure that we properly identify where the old historic tread was and marking it, because we actually have Montana Conservation Corps contracted to do some of the trail building for us, or I shouldn't say building as much as reviving the trail tread, brushing out, doing some rock work. Hopefully gonna make this trail easy for sportsmen to find, easy to follow. The other neat part is that it connects a lot of our cabins, little public use cabins, and just a really unique hunting opportunity and recreational opportunity. You know, Craig Mountain, it's 124,000 acres, right? It's the largest wildlife management area in the state. And it's very unique from the standpoint in which it, it encompasses almost an entire mountain uh, from the Salmon River to the south, the Snake River to the west, the, and then you Deer Creek drainage to the east. Um, and you have 800 feet elevation to 4,500 feet elevation to the top of the mountain. So, I mean, you, you have this wide array of habitats. You have this wide diversity of wildlife and plant life and, on the mountain. And so it's very unique from that standpoint that in a, under a mile, you can go from 10 inches of precipitation to, you know, there'll be every bit of probably three or four feet of snow that stick around here in the winter time. You start at the top in say uh, early April, go down from the top of the Madden Access down to the Madden Cabin, and you quite literally will go from uh, maybe a couple, some, some snow up on top, and by the time you get down, there's, there's trees in, that um, are in bloom and flowering and bees are buzzing and whatnot, and you just came from this, this time when it was winter still. You have three options for getting to those places, by foot, by stock, or by bicycle. And you have to drop considerable elevation to get to some of these. So it's, it's, these are tough areas to get to, but they are a very unique experience for that person that wants a front country, back country experience. Um, we're, we're only 35 minutes or so from Lewiston, from the LC Valley. So you can go to these places and, and have a backcountry feel. I mean, you're in there and you can't hear anybody, you don't see anybody, and you have this really unique experience by yourself. You're, you're in God's country. 